Okay, we've got a really cool bag to look at now. Um, this I got from my partner, um, mainly for a bug out bag or an inch bag. I'm never coming home. Um, it's 85 litre. Um, my um, bug out bag is 100 litre. So something for my partner, which isn't going to be too big or too small. I spent a long time searching for something like this and it's come true. It seems to have everything that she needs, okay, um, regarding um, the size, the weight, the durability, the multiple carry options on this bag is phenomenal. And I'm not going to lie, and um, you're going to see why as we go through the video. Um, rucksacks and Bergens have come such a long way over the last 10 years. They really, really have. Um, not just in design, but in the quality of materials as well. Uh, this happens to be Cordura. It's the brand plus, extremely hard wearing, okay? Very, very strong and is almost rip and tear resistant. It's that good. And this happens to be 85 litres. As I say, this is the Raccoon model by a company called Wispel. Kindly um, organised and sorted out and very, very brilliant um, respect to the customer service at you guys at Military First. Excellent all the way round. So we're absolutely stoked to have such a cool bag to show you guys. So um, you guys who have filmed <laughs> backpacks know how hard it is to actually get the best out of a video to show this. So I'm going to do my best. Um, bear with me because I've got the camera miles away. So we hope to show you everything in detail, okay? Because the attention to detail in this is phenomenal. It's very, very good, very, very choked, and very, very happy to have it. So, the material itself is rain resistant, so you're confident, really, on going out there, and it starts to hammering down with rain, it's gonna protect all of the items inside. It does come with its own waterproof carry in here at the bottom. We'll reach that bit as we go through. So we can look at the outside of the bag first and then inside and then um, hopefully show you guys why this is such a cool bag. 85 litres as I say, not too big, not too small. As you can see there's straps all over it. And one of the cool things that I like about this is you get these bands which stop the straps just going everywhere, okay? That's what you don't want because things get snagged, you get caught up, you could be in big trouble. So to organise it, fully adjustable in every single regard. If you're that way inclined, you've got a nice big area for a Velcro patch on there. The top, you've got straps which you can secure. Stuff like... Um, roll mats, um, anything, waterproof jackets, etc. can go on the outside, so you can get to them quickly should you need to. All of the straps, sorry, the buckles are very, very good quality, made by a company called Duraflex. Uh, some of you know in the game, they are top notch, very, very good. Molly, all over it, as you can see, this um, model happens to be in olive drab. You can get camo, black, all different colors that you want, but I think olive drab, you know, coming from an ex-military background, it seems to blend in pretty well everywhere and makes it um, less um, military look. It's not covered in camouflage and all that, etc. So it's very good for all them reasons. On the front, the top, this actual piece here. Oh, there we go. I know it's going to be a pain to film. This is fully detachable, the top section. Now inside, you've got a nice zip, which you can put things in quickly. On the outside, you have another zip. Incidentally, these aren't waterproof zips, which is not what I was after, but it more than takes up and covers that because you've got a really good amount of water resistant flaps over the top. So it doesn't really mind, it doesn't really matter, that's all good. You've got quite a good size inside there. The zips are good. Also, this is fully detachable. It's Velcro all the way along there. So you can actually detach that if you wanted to. That's good. On the front, you've got more um, 
straps to secure all of your kit and equipment inside. So if you not have it um, fully packed, you can really cinch it down and make sure that nothing's just flying around in there and getting damaged, okay? Very, very cool. At the bottom, as I just touched on, is this section. Again, you've got straps on here, which you can attach more kit and equipment. A roll mat if you want it down there, water beef jacket or trousers if you want it down there. Maybe even a lightweight sleeping bag or a fascia, that can go there. Underneath it's Velcro, so you can get in there real quick. Comes with a really generous, good sized waterproof Bergen cover. So, if you are caught out in the shower, you've got time, take the backpack off, get this out, put it over, carry on your way, jobs are good and everything is all sealed and stored in there out of the way of the rain and elements. On the side you have pockets at the bottom, say for argument's sake you wanted to put like water bottles in there etc. You have got a large drain hole there so obviously these aren't sealed so they're open to the elements okay so when it does rain the water's just going to come straight out of there. You can cinch it right down if you need to it works very very well. Good quality um, fasteners by the way so you've got no fear of them breaking or fraying etc. Again molly if you want to put small pouches or whatever you want to on the outside. Again you're going to see this over the whole pack okay these straps and buckles you can pretty much secure and attach anything to this pack all right so you've got them again you've got the sliders to stop all of your um, excess straps flapping around everywhere because no one likes to see them flapping around everywhere do they so the side oh, rocket pouches as we used to call them back in the day comes with a really cool top flap which covers most of it you've also got the added um, bonus of a strap and buckle there Inside, you've got um, a storm flap or a snow. Oh, I told you it's hard to film, don't I? You've got a snow guard there. So, if you are getting stuff in and out of there and it is snowing, sleeting, raining, it's going to protect to some degree some of the kit and equipment inside. Again, that is all cinchable. Really good quality, actually. I'm quite surprised at that because some of these they fall by the waist off with the cord, it frays. Some of these break, but these are they're really well made actually. I'm quite surprised and chuffed. So that will go over there, and if you wanted to, you can cinch it right down or open it right out so you can fit a lot of gear in there. Okay, exactly the same on the other side. So there's no point showing you that because it's just taking up more time unnecessarily. Again, Molly all over it, so you can put bloody all sorts on there. It really is a nice bag. On the inside, here Mr. Bumblebee's come to say hello. He likes his bag too. <laughs> You've got a huge storm flap again with the buckle release system, which you can really cinch that down shut. Again, if you haven't got much kit and equipment in there, or you can open it right up and you can fit a lot of stuff in there. It's such a surprise, it's like a TARDIS. It's like the TARDIS bug out bag. And as you can see, it's a huge um, snow gator, storm flap, whatever you want to call it. And that is again, totally cinchable. Inside, you've got the option to have one big whole cavity, or you can go down to this section here and close that off. We're going to have a look at that in a sec. But yeah, there's loads of room in there. I would guess mainly for a sleep system, etc. Okay, sleep system, spare clothing, whatever you will. And also inside, we have another pocket. So if you want to put maps in there or something like that, you can. Nice quality Cordura, tough hard wearing fabric. Also, I don't know if you can see in there, but you have a elasticated um, section, which is approximately 10 inches square inside. 
So you can like fit documents, that sort of thing in there, which you don't want getting muddled up with everything else. In the bottom, as we saw earlier, as we touched on, again, there is absolutely straps everywhere, okay? So I've opened the wall up just so we can get into there with relative ease. Opens nice and easily, which is what you want from a good quality zip. What I touched on earlier, the bottom section is closed offable, if that's the term. Or you can open it up and you've got full access to the whole bag, which is great. Personally, I like access to the whole thing, but some people like a little closed off section. So this is for you. So if you wanted to, you've just got a little access area for your kit contents, etc., in the bottom, all right? So let's put that in there. Zip it all up. All right. Again, the zips have got um, weather protection flaps over the top of it to stop all the rain getting in, getting everything all nastily wet. Now, how cool is this? Are you ready for this? Check out this cool back system. Now that is something to behold. I know, when I first saw it, I was gobsmacked. That is quality, okay? Quality is cool. If you're talking inch bags and survival equipment, you do need to get the best that you can, in my opinion, okay? The last thing you want is something cheap falling apart and it's gonna fail. Now with this, it all adjusts and slides up and down. So basically what that more or less means is, depending on your height and your build, you can adjust it. Um, if you want this down there or up to the top, you can just move these and do it like that rides right on the top, okay? If you want it lower for whatever reason, all you do is you just pull them out and it goes right down there, okay? Once again, you've got these little clips here and all they do is they just tidy all of your straps to stop them flying around everywhere, because they will. There's so many straps on this bag. Um, the last thing you want, as I say, is just ribbons and bands and straps falling around all over the place. Moving along down the shoulder, very nicely padded. It's probably about, oh, I guess about 15 millimeters thick. And the foam isn't too firm, isn't too hard. It's quite flexible. So what I've experienced with some packs before is this um, foam inside is very, very hard. And it does hurt and it digs into your shoulders uh, with your collarbones pretty much up there. Um, especially on a hot day when you've just got a t-shirt on, it will dig in and get sore. This is brilliant, I love it. And the mesh, obviously, if it was sweaty, hot day, etc., carrying heavy loads, it's not gonna uh, stick to you as much, okay? You've got metal bars here to keep it all nice and straight and secure. Um, whether these are bendable, um, I would expect so, to be honest. I would um, think they would come out of there and you can bend them to the shape of your body so you get the contours right. On here you have these little clips which you can turn in any direction and that is basically for um, water carry if you've got hydration bladder and you can clip it down there, run it through these elasticated areas. You've got some molly webbing here and you can have your uh, water bladder, camel back etc coming through there. As I say, you can put it at any angle you want, whatever suits you. You can deploy the front, take it straight off. So if you need to drop your Bergen quick, it's literally just these two clips and the whole thing just shoots right off your back, okay? So that's all good. You can see everything more clearly in there. You've got some carry handles here. So on and off of vehicles, etc., you can pretty much grab anything, anywhere you can attach stuff to that as well. As I say, the possibility is absolutely blooming endless with this. And um, it gives me confidence knowing that my partner is safe and secure with all of her kit and equipment. It's not gonna just fall off and start tearing and getting lost. On the front of the belt, you have these little locks here, which are cool. They're act like carabiners, so you can clip kit and equipment onto there. You've got some molly on there, so if you want to put torches or little pouches, first aid kit maybe on there, you can. Um, this whole great big belt system makes it very, very comfortable to carry. 
and this is very thick. Looking at that, I'm guessing that's over one inch thick. And again, the foam is very, it's just right, you know, it's not that really soft stuff like memory foam where it goes down to nothing and it's pretty much ineffective. No, this stuff isn't like firm and rock solid where it's going to dig in and hurt. It actually contours and bends very nicely. Very good. If you don't want this on there, all you have to do is underneath it's Velcro. Once you take all the Velcro off, the whole thing just literally slides right out, okay? So you don't need this belt on there if you don't want to. Once again, the front Duraflex buckles, very, very cool. You can't see them breaking, they're awesome. And once again, you've got the little strap on there if you want to keep all of your flaps out of the way. Molly all the way around it, so many places to attach things. Again, this is fully adjustable, so if you want it a bit closer to you, you can. You've got the angle sewn correctly for your straps to go over the front. All they do is they come down there, as we saw, and clip on. Totally adjustable with ease. Good quality webbing as well, it's not going to fray, it's pretty much like seat belt material. Very, very good. Okay. So that pretty much is all of the bag. I don't think I've missed anything out, um, but I'm really impressed with this system. Totally adjustable and it's padded as well. And it's very, very, very well made. Um, only time will tell. Uh, we're gonna be going out um, probably sometime this year to Scotland in the Highlands. And we're gonna be field testing this to see um, how we fare. So there will be an update video on this um, to see how it carries, how it rides, how it's been adjusted, what kit works in there and what doesn't, okay? So, I'm chuffed to bits. My partner's more than chuffed to bits because we now have a bug out bag each. Um, Still everything goes sour and we get separated for whatever reason. I know my partner's gonna be awesome as long as she's got this bag on her person, which I'm sure she will, not a problem at all. So, that is an overview. It's not a review because I haven't used it yet. Still got the tags on there. <laughs> it hasn't been used yet, but I'm just showing you guys, if you're interested in something like this, it gives you a bit of a close up because you can't always tell from the pictures you see on websites, etc. Okay. So that goes up to there, and that goes up to there. It is a bit daunting when you get new stuff and you try to see <laughs> how it all goes together. But it's like everything. The more time you spend with something, the more you learn, the more you understand, the more you tailor it, and the more pleasant life is. So there she is. A little bit of a close-up. Um, as some of you will appreciate, filming bags on screen is one of the hardest things you can do. You probably need to do like 300 different camera angles and shots and ideal lighting and weather conditions and to be honest I just haven't got that time and stuff to do. So, there it is. Brilliant customer service as well. Um, this come next day delivery in mainland UK and I do believe they ship overseas as well. So for any of our friends abroad, Yes, you can have things like this. You don't have to have what you've got in your own country, which is absolutely awesome. So I hope that's helped um, some of you guys deciding what sort of a um, bug out bag, inch bag, or even just a doubt with family, okay? This bag will cover everything, it really will. As I said, it's not 120 liter military ultimate huge carry Bergen. It's not a tiny 30 liter day pack. This sits plumb bang in the middle. Absolutely awesome. Chuff the bits of it, and um, I hope she is too. <laughs> so thanks to Military First. Very, very cool service. Um, excellent kit and equipment on their website. Please check it out in the links below. All the information you'll see is right there. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay funky.